In this video, I'm going to show you an alternative to uh, the way that SharePoint di displays uh, this drop down. Once you create a top level subsite and then create all the subsites underneath it, um, this is perfect if uh, for some reason you want to sort all these not in alphabetical order but you know let's say you want to put kindergarten on top of uh, first grade uh, SharePoint automatically sorts these by alphabetical order so um, let's say if you want to change that make sure that you're on your top level site of your SharePoint uh, collaboration page um, and you want to click on the gear icon select site settings click on navigation scroll down to the uh, structural navigation uh, section and what we're going to do first is make sure you click on global navigation and you want to click on the added heading and what we're going to do is we're going to make a new heading and we're going to call it grades um, leave everything else blank and hit OK and now what we want to do is first click on the grades uh, folder icon scroll up hover over the grades drop down and what we're going to do is we're going to copy the link from all these uh, subsites so first what I'm going to do the kindergarten one actually no let me do the first grade and what you what I what you should do next is right click on it and select copy shortcut and this is going to copy the URL to the first grade then next scroll down make sure you're you click on the grades folder and you want to click on add link give it a title so I want to call this one first grade hit tab to go down to the next uh, URL you want to make sure to erase everything that's written on there and right click and paste okay and then hit OK and you'll see that it created a link underneath the grades heading okay now you want to do this for all of the other uh, subsites Okay, and once you finish creating all the links to all your subsites, um, I'm going to show you what happens next. So you hit OK, and you're going to notice two things. One, that you have two drop downs with grades, and also if you were to click on the, uh, the grades uh, top level site, you'll notice that it actually does take you to a subsite called grades. Most people don't like this because you're not going to put any information on here. So by creating the heading and not adding a URL, you know, leaving all those fields blank, you'll see that you can't click on grades. It doesn't take you anywhere. Um, and then obviously you don't want to display two different uh, grades drop down. So what we're going to do next is go back to your top level site, go back to the gear, site settings navigation and we're gonna do two things one the first uh, item listed says grades and also has the icon of a subsite so you want to click on that and then select uh, hide and now you'll see that it puts the word hidden in parentheses so after you do that um, and hit OK it's gonna hide that drop down but uh, chances are you want to reorganize all these and you want to sort them uh, you know via the actual grade levels so to do that click on kindergarten and then click this link here or button that says move up and you see that it's moving the link up to here most likely that's where you want it so hit OK and now you notice that you only are displaying one drop down and you cannot click on grades because there's no URL attached to it so this is one way of getting around um, the alphabetical uh, sorting that SharePoint does automatically